In one of our recent reviews, we mentioned that shooting games were something that you don't find a lot of on the PlayStation Vita. In fact, I can only think of three shooting games that are native on the Vita at this moment. Borderlands 2, Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified, and Resistance Burning Skies. As we also mentioned in a recent review, the Vita recently got a shooting game that was back from the 90s during the era of the Doom games. A blast from the past and on the PS3 and the Vita, here is our video review of Duke Nukem 3D Megaton Edition. Duke Nukem 3D takes place on the planet Earth after Duke Nukem himself has recently saved the planet from an alien invasion. On his way home, Duke is attacked and crash lands in Los Angeles only to find out that there is a new alien threat set on invading the Earth. Outside of the in-game menu where it explains the plot of the game, the story is not shown to you very much as you progress through the game other than at the end of each boss fight. The story itself is not deep or emotional, but it does contain a lot of parodies to movies that everyone should know. It also has quite a bit of sexual content in it, just something to know before you dive into the game. Duke Nukem 3D Megaton Edition, just like the original game, is a 3D first person shooter with 2D character sprites and environments. When you boot up the game, there are going to be two main game modes for you to go into, Campaign and Multiplayer. Campaign allows you to experience the story and go through all 64 missions of the game, and Multiplayer allows you to go online to play against or with your friends over the PlayStation Network. Megaton Edition features all four episodes of the original Duke Nukem 3D, along with three expansion packs that came with the later releases. All in all, there are 64 different missions to go through, which is a lot of content for you to play. One thing that makes this type of shooter unique is its emphasis on exploration as opposed to linear combat. As you go through each mission, you will be focusing on exploring and finding key cards to unlock the exit rather than just mowing down enemies. You won't be following a linear path in most missions, and you will be mowing down enemies as well as searching for all of these key cards. The rest of the uniqueness of the game comes from the unique respawn system as well as the leaderboards and crossplay. The respawn system lets you respawn at any given moment of your current playthrough after you die. If you walked into a room and got killed by enemies on the right side of the room, you can respawn two seconds before you go into the room and set up a proper counterattack. Each time you finish a mission, you're able to access the online community and submit your playtime, enemies defeated, and secrets to the online leaderboards. Crossplay is a feature that is not featured in many Vita games nowadays. This allows you to go online and play against not only other Vita players, but as well as other PlayStation 3 players. All in all, the game has 64 different missions to go through. While the online leaderboards will show you that you can f finish each of these in less than 5 minutes, your first go through the game will likely take you at least 15 minutes per level. With this in mind, the game should take you at least 10 to 15 hours to finish the campaign your first time through, and many more hours if you dive into multiplayer and go through the game to see if you can find all the secrets. Despite having 3D gameplay, Duke Nukem 3D is a game with 2D visuals and sprites everywhere. Everything is hand-drawn and everything is 2D, from the character models to the enemies. One thing that veterans of the old Doom PC games will notice is that Duke Nukem 3D took a lot from those games. The level designs and even the sound clips when enemies die were taken straight out of the Doom games. Some of these are unique to Duke Nukem, but a lot of them were taken straight out of Doom. One part of the presentation that should be addressed is the fact that there is lag in the game. While this is much less apparent in single player, you're still going to see some frame freezes and jumping every few minutes, and a lot more if you're playing multiplayer. This isn't something that's going to be a huge hindrance on you if you're playing single player, but it can be a very big annoyance if you're playing online. Megaton Edition is what many gamers would consider the definitive edition of Duke Nukem 3D. On the downside, there are some lag issues to be dealt with, and the visuals are very much dated if you're not used to 2D visuals. Tying the cross-compatibility with the PS3 version, this is a nostalgic shooter that any gamer new and old can get into. Duke Nukem 3D Megaton Edition is good.